Hello everybody, I recently bought a Rodecaster Pro, but I still have USB microphones. This is a Blue Yeti, and I was wondering if I could use it on the Rodecaster Pro. I wanted to try and use one of these XLR inputs and maybe go from XLR to USB, but Rode told me that there is no way to do that because it uh, the Blue Yeti, unfortunately, since it's a USB microphone, comes with a built-in A to D converter internally there would be no physical way to adapt a USB microphone to connect to an XLR input but thankfully because this is a Rodecaster Pro it has a USB in which means you can use your computer as the middleman so this is what you do I'm just going to open up GarageBand because I am assuming that this is how most people are starting out. So again, we're going to go into GarageBand for just demonstration purposes. If you're on Windows, you can use Audacity. You basically just need any program that will allow you to activate your microphone. So you go in there, you make sure that you pick the input as your Blue Yeti or any USB microphone. Your output is still going to be the Rodecaster. Make sure you have that enabled. And as far as, whoops, as far as uh, your input, as far as the channels go, it can be one or two. It doesn't really matter. Basically, if you want to record in mono or stereo, hit create. Cool. So now, as you can see, um, my blue yeti is is active basically the only way to use a usb microphone on the roadcaster pro is to connect it to a computer and then that computer will route the audio to the roadcaster pro under uh right here now obviously this has its disadvantages because this is picking up not just the audio from your blue yeti but any sounds that are coming into the computer. So for example, if you get an incoming text message, that's also going to get recorded on the on the roadcaster. Same thing if you start playing music. So if you do decide to use a USB microphone with the roadcaster Pro, maybe you're doing a podcast, just make sure you disable all notifications or any other sounds that can come into the computer or else they're going to be picked up on on the actual podcast. And this is kind of just like a a bandage. Ideally, you want to move from USB microphones to XLR, and that's probably one of the reasons why you got the Rodecaster in the first in the first place. What about if I have one of these camera microphones for my for my video camera? So the good news is for these kind of microphones, Rode does make an adapter to go from 3.5 to XLR and it will also make sure not to uh, overpower your, your microphone either because this is obviously meant to work off of a camera and this guy is very powerful and it could potentially like destroy your microphone because there's too much power going into it so Rode does make an adapter that you can buy if you want to use your your existing microphones and maybe you're still saving up to uh, buy XLR microphones and another thing I want you guys to know is don't like don't be discouraged if you are making the transition from USB you know microphones to like XLR it can seem a little bit over overwhelming at first but I picked up this Behringer um, it's $23 on Amazon And, you know, for my first XLR microphone, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the sound. And I'll let you guys be the judge of it because I've been basically recording the entire voiceover <laughs> holding this microphone with a fan blasting. So let me know how it sounds. Um, but I just wanted to make this video. And I know I'm not the first person that has tried to use a Blue Yeti on this thing. I know I'm not the first person that's tried to use their, um, you know, DSLR microphone on this thing but I really couldn't find anybody that had a video to kind of just 
give us a heads up of what's going on. And I hope this helps. I'm going to obviously continue to make more videos about the Roadcaster Pro. If you guys have any questions on how to use it, I'm still learning uh, just as, as, as you guys are too. We're kind of in this together. But overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with it because it's definitely stepping up my production side of things. All right. I'm out.